the causes of secondary dysmenorrhea in a mnemonic, not just a mnemonic, a musical mnemonic. Coming up, this is Medicos Perfectionalis, best way to learn medicine to become a board-certified physician. First, what is dysmenorrhea? Dysmenorrhea is pain and cramping occurring during menstruation. They may be severe enough to interfere with normal activity. Prevalence. Maybe half of women get dysmenorrhea at some point of their lives. Primary versus secondary. Primary is idiopathic. We do not know why. Secondary, there are some causes of it. And this is the video of today. Symptoms of dysmenorrhea. Not just some pelvic pain, but also nausea, vomiting, and headache. There is a difference between the pain of dysmenorrhea and the pain of endometriosis. The pain of this dysmenorrhea usually occurs in the first or the second day of the menses. However, the pain of endometriosis occurs one or two days before menses. So, during menses, like first or second day, that's dysmenorrhea. Before menses, that's endometriosis. Treatment of dysmenorrhea, we start with some non-steroidals. We can try oral contraceptives, and if it's severe enough, we can do hysterectomy, but this is extremely rare. Now, to the causes of secondary dysmenorrhea. Sing with me. Endometriosis, adenomyosis, cervical stenosis, PID, and fibroidosis. Endometriosis, adenomyosis, cervical stenosis, PID, fibroidosis. This is fibroids, osis, just like we add this osis, just that it rhymes. And, of course, we are not making fun of any patients. It's just a funny way to remember the causes of secondary dysmenorrhea so that we can help patients better. That was dysmenorrhea. Secondary causes in a mnemonic. And I'll see you in the next video.